Thank you for clicking. I appreciate that you've spared a minute. You're here with me once again. I would like to speak about the masks. The president said that it's mandatory for everybody to wear a mask if you intend to leave your house. Now the question is, where are you going to find these masks? Who is selling the masks? So I was fortunate enough to learn on somebody who sells very nice masks, African masks. Um, I, I, the person has quite interesting designs. Uh, it's, it's Kitenge, uh, I think some people call it Ankara. Uh, they're quite interesting, I've, tr I've, I've tried them. Now my conversation is about how did I get to this person and then, well, how else are we supposed to find these other interesting things that we need that we can't easily find? How can we look, how can we access the things that are made in Uganda? Where are these producers, where are these creators selling their things? Stay with me and I'll share with you the entire story. A couple of weeks ago, while I was browsing my Facebook feed, I landed on a link called Liquidation Uganda. Now this link was taking me straight to their Telegram account. Liquidation Uganda, uh, it's a group of people that sell uh, used things. One of the things that caught my attention was masks. There's a lady who posted a very nice flyer of masks. They were really pretty interesting, the way, the way they were presented on this, on this flyer. So. Um, I inboxed her. For, for starters, I had to respond to the conversation that was within the group. I had to ask, how much do these masks cost? Because uh, the price tag was, was not there. Then uh, she said 25K, 2,000, uh, rather 25,000 shillings, 25,000 Ugandan shillings. So, okay, I decided to go into her DM, rather I decided to inbox her directly. So our conversation continued in her it continued privately. So I asked where she was. Fortunately, she's in Chireka, just about where I live. Wow, what a coincidence. So what I did, um, I decided to give her a call. So I asked her, um, could, can you deliver these things to me? Could you, for starters, how many are they? So she says they're five in number. You could use one for each of the five days of the week. Then as uh, well, you obviously have to wash and reuse, wash, iron and reuse. They are pretty good. So I had a bunch of questions. I asked whether they meet the standard guidelines that were, that have been issued by the Minister of Health. Some masks really don't serve the purpose that they intended to. She has assured me that they are great masks um, and I've tried them out. I got these masks yesterday uh, and as usual, I. I used, uh, rather I asked her, how are these going to get back to me? How are they going to get to me, rather? So she said, I will deliver them to your place. We shall split the transportation cost. That is how I usually do it. So I was like, okay, cool. So that was a good gesture that she could afford to split the, the delivery cost with me, which I totally appreciate. Now, um, I got the masks. Pretty good. They're interesting. Uh, these are some of the masks. Uh, like you saw them. This is uh, what, what color is this? Please, I hope I'm not color blind. This has a bit of orange. Please, in the comment section, you can advise on what these colors are, but all I know they are pretty nice and I like them. So, um, let me see. I have a couple of others right here. This is pretty nice. I find it very female though. Well, this is my favorite. It's just simply plain and Oh, well, I like it. I think this is my favorite of them all. Uh, this this is also interesting. I'll probably say it's interesting. But, well, these are the masks, and I'll be trying them on today. Um, so, now, the conversation today is, how did I land on these people? Like I said, I found a link on Facebook. It took me straight to their uh, liquidation page, and this is where I found a bunch of guys posting everything that they sell. These are my four key takeouts on how these guys are thriving. Number one, they are looking for all avenues on how they can post their information at a free cost. What they do now, interestingly, I found that many of them are not using Facebook like they used to in the past. They have run to something called Gigi. Gigi is a company owned by Ukrainians. It bought what we used to call OLX. In Nigeria, they have around 6 million active users. That is where their biggest uh, user base is. So they are in Kenya, 
Uganda, Tanzania, where else? And Ghana. So it's it's such a pool of people that are doing business and for now it's still free. You post whatever it is that you want to sell and it will get to whoever it's meant to get to. How, well, it's important that whoever is using the application knows how to search for whatever they're looking for. So now many of these Ugandans, the young producers and creators have run to this platform called GG. I first knew GG when I was looking for a car. You'll find very cheap cars. Well, some of them are really crappy, but you'll find everything that you need. You'll even find real estate brokers, realtors, everybody is there. So Gigi is an amazing application. I've used it. I've bought a couple of things from there. I bought uh, the phone tripod stand that I'm currently using. What else did I get? I've, I've bought a couple of things from there. So uh, now, before I digress, getting back to the reasons that have led to the success of some of these small business owners. They've run to platforms like Gigi. Gigi is absolutely free. Of course, there are plans for um, if you want to advertise your product so that they can get they, they can be placed right up above as soon as somebody opens the application, that is also available. But most of it is absolutely free. So now what these guys do, they post their products on Gigi and avail enough information so that a buyer can make a decision. Secondly, they check their accounts on a daily just to see if anybody left them a message. Thirdly, they respond to those messages in good time. They endeavor to share more information in the event that you call or in the event that you text them back. That is, you send a message because on the application you can actually exchange messages. Number four, they always share their links in WhatsApp groups, in Telegram groups, and they post at least something every day on their status updates everywhere. So they never go wrong on that. Basically, that's their hustle. And they've, they've been able to make good money out of this. However, now the question would be, how does one scale so that their business is, their business is making much more money? We know that in the gig economy, so what they should do, I advise that if you really want to get the big tenders, you have to register. Now that the masks are needed, everybody's looking for masks. Companies would want to have masks for their employees, schools and other institutions. But if you're not a legal entity, it will be very difficult for you to learn some of these deals. So register so that you're a legal entity. Legal entity meaning that you're recognized, you're recognized by the state and you pay taxes and then companies feel comfortable to deal with legal entities for accountability purposes. So I would encourage whoever is into the gig economy, the ones that are doing the so-called small businesses, eventually we trust that they will become big businesses. Please get yourselves registered and then you'll see that you'll be able to reach the money that you want to get. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate that you spared a minute. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Share this video with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.